Hello and welcome to episode 63 of Leaf Blower Revolution. Today, as promised, we'll look at the Halloween event. I bought the first upgrade Barb O'Diggs so I could shovel those lanterns and it's better than the claw machine. I can AFK. It's one at a time for now. The drop count is only from the boss. And the only way the boss takes damage is with uh, this cursed weakness. We'll talk about that later. It's a bit uh, unusual, but it's uh, interesting. So right now I'm just waiting to reach 188 so I can dig two at a time. Also, I got four out of 20, so that would mean 40% chance of getting multi-drop. So this is fast forward, okay, so we can get to 188 as fast as possible. And I'm not gonna kill the boss very often, but in future episodes, in fact, probably next episode, unless there's a big update, I'll show you the progress I made. So this is all the relics that I made for mythical and legendary. So I made them all. It was really smooth, no problem. We're not gonna look at leaf sanction today. We'll talk about it, but I'm at the very early stages of this thing. I didn't have time to really play all that much, but at least I can give you an overview for those who watch this series. I know there's other videos as well about this event, but I had to add one in my series, didn't I? Okay, so these are some of the upgrades that I got over time just with the digging, four out of five by the way for digging. And we're gonna go kill this uh, boss for the first time. Now, I'm not doing it the right way, doesn't matter. At the beginning, you just kill it uh, <laughs> easily, okay? But the only way he takes damage, as I said, is through that upgrade that says increase damage by 100% and it's unlimited. So there hits. When I hit him with my fish, it's a hit. When ALB hit him, it's a hit also. So I want the ALBs to converge towards the boss so he can get hit. But the damage I make is irrelevant. It's only that upgrade I was talking about. And that's why people are telling me to make a defensive build so I can probably tank him later. I did not understand that part. So that's Norby told me to do this. I didn't ask any question, but then I went on Discord later when it was offline and they explained what I just told you. Therefore, you build an absolute damage slash player HP build set and uh, you uh, shard that to the max. We'll do that later. And also, I'm going to use a proper pet towards the end. You know, defensive pets. Those that give uh, regen or HP or uh, resistance, okay? But at the moment, I'm so early that it's very easy, but eventually, I'm going to have no choice but do this. And what's unfortunate is there's only one strategy, but I guess it's just, I don't know, uh, at least it's original because it's always been only glass cannon, nothing else than this, you know what I mean? But for once, we can use defense. Oh yeah, here. I was like, why can't I kill this boss? Do I not have my DPS set? Then I started clicking around like crazy until I realized, hey, I have a damage type set now. So certain bosses I can't kill. So I'm going to prove it right now by killing a few terrors. Well, this four. So let's kill this one. See, I one shot him. One shot this one. This one, I cannot kill it due to... I, I do have platinum and fire damage. So I guess it doesn't work for this one. And this one's dead too. And I'll kill the super terror also later. <laughs> but um, as I said, we'll make a set when the time comes. Now my ALBs converge towards the curse boss so that is a start and we're going to continue going step by step towards the meta strategy which i almost never do in games but in this game i don't have a choice and if i really want to push through those milestones it's the only way you're going to kill super terror now in the area where the event boss is, you cannot use artifacts. I have to get out of there and use my violin. Well, I'm gonna go in biotite area, a biotite forest, yes, um, because this is where this artifact spawns. 
but something strange is going to happen. I'll show it to you when it's the time. There we go. Then I fight it again. Okay, using the violin, I was able to eliminate the cooldown. And now we're going to look at milestones once again. And nothing spectacular. All we have is gems. But at 10, I'll have access to an artifact that has to do with leaf ascension. That's something I'll have to figure out. People try to explain to me how it works. And uh, I'm more or less, in fact, I didn't understand too much. But it's not rocket science. I just got to experiment with it and I'll understand it. We'll read what it says later. So 13, curse weakness. That's what I was talking about. That's what does the damage to the boss. But you got to hit him with your fish and your ALBs, of course. I think the graphics are at the minimum right now. That's how I play usually. By the way, I have my shovel. Okay, I still have my shovel. So my LBs are doing the job right now. <laughs> it's really easy at the beginning, but I don't think I'll be able to afford this for very long. I just noticed it, by the way. Okay, so we're in that bridge and three more hours before next Valen spawn. But once I kill the cursed cheese 10 times, I think it's two hours for the new artifact. I'm gonna use a lot of fruits. And remember, I said three hours, right? For the violin, and something strange is going to happen. I don't understand it. Okay, so he's dead. And it gives me, okay, so that's six times. It gives me a pack. What I wanna reach is really 10. We'll reach 16 today, but there's nothing special there. All right, so let's kill this thing again. By the way, if you hear a humming, it's annoying me right now. It's my computer is overheating and it has loud fans. I hope you don't hear it, but the music, it might be hiding it. Okay, now we have access to the Leaf Sension Exploit. But let's take a look at this. This is really odd. So I'm going to turn down the graphics so you can see. Remember, the violin is supposed to be every 35 minutes. Okay. Now there's a bunch of stuff, I'm just going to pick up everything so we can see. Check this out. See? He's a Valen, fine. It's spawned. So I should wait 35 minutes, right? Without... There's another one. Without fruit. So that's really odd. Okay, so let's use fruit for the uh, Leaf Sension Exploit artifact, which is like two hours. Okay. It's very fast, by the way. I'm not using it, I totally agree, I'm just clicking use, 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 use. And I get it. Now we're going to take a look at it. In a second, okay, right now, okay. That is, here, here's one, see? Another one. Is that normal? I don't understand why they spawn like this. Uh, it doesn't seem normal, okay. Oh wow, so <laughs> exploit the leaf tension process to instantly finish a random available leaf tension and keep the input resources. At least five leaf tension must be activatable. The max leaf tension level depends on the number of defeated boss, the cursed cheese. Did you understand this? Well, and look at the number going up six, seven, you know, eight. No, no, that doesn't seem normal. I don't know why it does that. If you don't, please let me know in the comments. It does bug me. <laughs> All right. So uh, this leaf sanction thing, I'll figure it out. I know uh, some people try to explain to me on Discord, as I may have said before, but I'm going to sit down and play with it. And eventually you'll see it in a video. That's going to be very strong okay, to reach level five and even level six leaf sanction to be able to kill, uh, you know, next boss. And, you know, there's going to be a new galaxy in the future. So, uh, player HP 228 million percent and absolute damage resistance 4.56 billion. They're all the same. And this is my yellow set. The yellow set is a versatile set that keeps changing. That's why I got two full plasma leaves sets and an extra plasma leave. <laughs> so, we're doing super well. Uh, I'm a bit short, maybe on. Um, Transform, not transform, uh, fusion shards, the blue ones that I just pointed to, but they're very easy to make. And I'm just going to make more of these leaves 
Now, when the new galaxy comes out, do you think there's going to be a new type of craftable leaf? That would be insane. <laughs> oh, this game is insane. Okay, so let's... Uh, for so oh, yeah, I removed the pathing because I was trying out this possible exploitable bug or whatever. Is it necessary to equip a leaf blower to the ALBs? Please let me know also. I'm not sure about that. Um, it's because I saw a picture, so I'm doing the same thing. It's the um, blower with the most blowing power, I believe. The last one, the card. Okay, so we're gonna kill it a few times, back to back to back to back, to try to reach 16 to see what happens, okay? And then uh, we're pretty close to being done. It's just an overview of the event. So the results of the event, you're gonna see that later. So next episode could be about this event again. Or it could be about Leaf Sension or an update, I don't know. So I killed them again and again and again. And here's my new pet team. Okay, I just chose pets again. Uh, regen, more HP, damage resistance, etc. I'm curious to see how far I'll get. But 16, of course, is just the beginning one. I spent time on this. I'm really curious what the limit is. Oh, by the way, the boss drops up to level 3 leaf sanded leaves, okay? Milestone 100 is level 5, milestone 125 is level 6 leaf sanction for your leaf sanction explored artifact. So it will enable you to make those high level leaf sanded leaves. I just don't really understand how it works yet, but we'll figure it out. As I said, here I'm showing you where I stand by the end of this video, okay? A level 24 curse with weakness so i don't know how far that's gonna get me and oh i forgot to show you the ball club machine of course i had to forget something so it's one plus one third of your progress that's the amount that you get in the ball claw machine as i said there's other videos on this and i saw somebody making 33 per pickup in the machine so eventually i'm gonna have to get back there but for now digging is the key and also the boss drops some of those lanterns and now we're gonna go to the house and end the video there i don't know when next episode will be and as i said i'm not too sure what the subject will be i don't know if you know a game called idle scaling but maybe you played in the past and you stopped they have a new update called afterlife and i'm making videos about it people seem pretty interested so if you're curious, at the end of the video, I'm going to put it in the recommended videos. On the left is always a previous or next episode of Leaf Blower Revolution. And on the right, it's either some random video or something specific. Anyways, check it out if you're curious. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss future videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.